Welcome to another Model A mini guide. Today we're going to talk about calibrating your accelerator linkage. In the Model A Ford there are two ways to apply throttle. The most common way is to step on the accelerator. When you step on that pedal, you push on the accelerator pedal arm, which connects to the throttle arm right here, which pivots on a bracket. Can't really see, but it's attached right back there, mounted to the back of the engine block, which comes out here and pushes on the carburetor rod. That's carburetor rod, which then pushes on the carburetor throttle lever, which opens the butterfly valve right in here, and that makes the car go putt, putt, putt down the road. But there is another way, which typically is only used when starting the engine, and that's the throttle control rod. So you can, this rod right here, when you rotate this rod, you move the throttle lever, which moves this rod, which confusingly is also called the throttle control rod, which turns the bell crank, which pushes on the accelerator pedal arm. So the bell crank is this weirdly shaped pivoting thing right here. So the bell crank pushes on the accelerator pedal arm, which then connects to the throttle arm, and anyway, it's exactly the same after that. The point is there are a lot of connection points between you applying more throttle and the throttle actually opening. If this linkage is poorly calibrated, then you can get results like you move the hand throttle, nothing happens, or you floor the accelerator and nothing happens, or at least not what you thought was going to happen. So how do you calibrate all these connection points? The first thing that you want to start with calibrating is the throttle shaft stop screw. That's right here. So this is a Zenith carburetor. I've got it off the car here. Um, the your throttle shaft here, this is the throttle shaft lever, this thing that's pivoting. And then right here, this is the throttle shaft stop screw or the throttle stop, it's also called. So this is a screw that sets the minimum opening of the throttle valve. Uh, so as you, let's see, as you screw it out or in against this stop, it changes the position of the butterfly valve. So this is the butterfly valve right here, controls the throttle. If you have this set real high, so let's say this is set really high, then, so you can see right there at the bottom of the butterfly valve, there's a little hole. That hole connects through here. Here's the uh, idler, the idle set screw. Um, so this connects to the idle jet. And when the car is idling, then the amount of the amount of air that it's getting, it's not actually getting air through here. Uh, if, if you're getting air through uh, the main intake, then uh, you are not actually on the idle circuit. So when the car is idling, the air, all the air is actually coming um, in through this. It comes in from the uh, from the outside, and it goes up through this little port right here. So there's the, there's the hole where the idle circuit comes in. And you can see as I'm adjusting this set screw out, the butterfly valve is closing that hole off. Get smaller and smaller until it's just barely there at all. So what you have to do is calibrate this. The way to calibrate it is to run the engine up to operating temperature. You don't do this when it's cold. You get it, get it hot. And then with this on the car, you adjust this. Probably it's on most of the cars, it's probably fairly far in. It's probably like this. And so what you would do is you would start by adjusting it out, getting that gap smaller and smaller until the engine starts to falter and die on the idle because that um, that little hole is getting completely blocked. So then you adjust it back in until you get a smooth idle. Now what you're doing is you're setting the absolute minimum amount of throttle that can be applied to the car. Now the carb that I actually have on my coupe right now 
is a Marvel carb, but it has a similar setup. Um, so here's the throttle stop right here. Now the next thing that we want to check is wide open throttle. So disconnect the carburetor rod at the throttle arm. And notice how the throttle arm is down here around the 7 o'clock position. Now you'll need to find a way to hold the accelerator pedal to the floor. So you can see in my coupe the uh, handle of a hydraulic floor jack is just about the right size. So now notice that the throttle arm has pivoted. And because the accelerator pedal is now on the floor, that means this is the maximum travel for the throttle arm. You need to make sure that at this point the arm can open the throttle all the way. So reattach the carburetor rod and see what the position of the carb throttle lever is. You can see as, see this stop right here, it's got to get all the way over there. And mine's actually a little bit too, it's got a little too, goes a little too far, but that's okay. You can have a little springiness in the system. So make sure you get all the way, when this is connected, you want to be all the way against the stop. Now, if you're not all the way against the stop, you can make some adjustments. So for example, you can make sure this rod is the correct length. The center to center dimension on this should be 10 and 5 eighths inches. Uh, you can also try bending this throttle arm. That's actually what I did. So mine started out not getting quite far enough and then I, I bent it, I got about a quarter inch. Now it goes a little bit too far, but that's, that's better than not far enough. Um, if it's way off, if it doesn't line up at all, uh, then you may need to repair or replace your throttle control assembly. The throttle control assembly is just this whole, this whole assembly of uh, rods that's bolted onto the back of the engine. And you can access that through, the, um, through this uh, slanted floorboard. If you take that off, you can get at the bolts for it. Next, reset the accelerator pedal and take a look at your throttle control rod. You want to calibrate this linkage so that when the throttle control rod up at the steering column is at the top of the steering quadrant, the bell crank is just touching, just touching or slightly apart from the accelerator pedal arm. So you don't want it to actually be impinging on the accelerator pedal arm. You want it to have just a little bit of a gap uh, because if there's a big gap between the bell crank and the pedal arm, then that initial travel as you're pulling the throttle control rod down, well, it won't actually change the throttle position because you'll be moving this bell crank through thin air, and then at some point you'll contact the accelerator pedal arm. A good way to look at this while you're in the cabin is when you start to move the throttle control rod, do you see the accelerator pedal start to depress? You should. You should see it depress, start to depress right after you start to move the uh, throttle control rod. If you don't, if you need to adjust it, you can change the length or you know curve this, um, you know cut and and put a sleeve on it or change where you know there's lots of different ways you can change this length, but you want it to you want it to be just almost touching that pedal arm when it's at the top of its travel.